Happy Friday, everybody. <clears throat> this Sunday, September 11th, marks 21 years since the terrorist attack on America. For those of us who are probably over 25, and remember where we were, and what we were doing, what we were thinking, and how scared and unsure we were. And every year since uh, 2001, with the exception of the hurricane year a few years ago, we've stopped in our parish to honor and remember this day. And with 9-11 happening on a Sunday, um, I hope that we'll see the church full of people um, as we honor and remember what happened that day with a special memorial service. Our, our first responders will uh, and veterans will come and, and stand around the memorial table. Um, after the service, we're gonna break bread in the hall uh, at a luncheon that uh, is being sponsored and whatever proceeds we make from the luncheon are gonna go to Tunnels and Towers, which is a charity related to 9-11. Um, we're going to have also a special presentation in the Zaharias Room, not, not uh, connected to this, on Mount Athos. And the reason why we're doing that this Sunday is that this is kind of a quiet day in our church, and it should be at least somewhat of a quiet day in our lives. I know many of us Sunday afternoon are going to watch the NFL. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a very patriotic thing to do, I guess. It's kind of uh, one of America's pastime sports. But on a serious note, we really need to stop, at least for Sunday morning, as Americans, and remember what happened and to pray for all those that passed on and pray for all those who are affected and also pray for peace in the world. Um, we know that the Church of St. Nicholas stood in, in the shadow of the Twin Towers and by God's grace, this has now been reopened as a new church, a new shrine to St. Nicholas. And where I used to look at St. Nicholas Church and remember that, that small church that no longer is, I don't really look at that church now because it is a church again. When I look at our twin towers that have been hit and think about the thousands of people that were in those buildings as well as the Pentagon and on the airplane that crashed in Pennsylvania and think about them and, and pray for them and pray for their families who are still missing them. Um, we're very blessed in our community that Father John Stefaro um, is not only working here with us but he is a, a veteran and he was actually at the Pentagon on 9-11 and he's going to be making a presentation in church this Sunday. He'll be offering the homily and talking about that. So I hope that we will put some time uh, aside Sunday morning and every one of us come not only to worship but to pause and to reflect and to remember those who passed and pray for our country and for peace in the world. I hope to see you Sunday. God bless America.